Good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. The song that came through right before this reading was We'll Be Alright by Grace Potter. If you've never heard any Grace Potter, you should check that song out. It could be significant somehow this reading. Uh, what is going on, Spirit? Who do you have a message for? Spirit guides and angels, make yourselves real to this collective the way you do to me every day. And I'm so eternally grateful for your presence in my life. Who is this message going to be for, Spirit? Gemini. Gemini. Welcome back, Gemini. How you doing, baby? All right, Spirit, speak to Gemini. What prayer do you have for the sign of Gemini, Spirit? Oh, God of heaven and earth, it is good to sing your praises and to bless your holy name always. You do great things for us. The whole earth is full of your glory. To you be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus for endless ages. Amen. Angels, how are you working in Gemini's life that Gemini is praising you so strongly? A guardian angel and creative power. Show us how you're working in the sign of Gemini and angels and spirit guides. Protection and creative power. May we see how you're working in Gemini's life. Power and creative power. Three cards fell out. Three cards fell out. Creative power, miracles, and courage, Gemini. I'm going to put them back. If they were meant to, they'll come out again. How are you working in Gemini's life, Holy Spirit? May I see, please? Love, Gemini. <laughs> In divine plan. So there's a divine plan when it comes to love, Gemini. That's what I see here. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit guides and angels for giving us that message. All right, what virtues are you working on in this love? Gemini, your love life is showing up, baby. Your third eye, you're using your intuition, I see. May I see, Spirit. Somebody plays a trumpet. <laughs> that was determined to come out. Humility, Gemini. Compassion and contentment. Beautiful energy. I love that. Oh, and joy. With self-control, you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. So somehow you have humility, compassion, contentment, and joy. With the love. Humility. It sounds like to me you're learning some kind of lesson. What kind of healing is needed in Gemini's life today, Spirit? We see their love life is showing up. What kind of healing do they need? Whoa! Sexual arts is here. <clears throat> That's about celibacy, having one partner, sadness, phoenix rising, and temptation. So you're going through temptation. It looks like you maybe are celibate or you have one partner maybe you're being tempted by somebody else and you already have somebody and then we have procrastination on the bottom of the deck we've been getting one card for healing but you have four plus your love is here that's how the angels are working in your life today all right let's get overall to rose spirit says so use the red deck all right spirit how are you working inside of gemini right now looks like you're going through a spiritual awakening the moon came out in the reverse for you, Gemini. And the hermit. So you're soul searching right now. And you're seeing through illusions, it looks like. Or there's a secret coming out. I won't know until I pull more cards on that. It looks like you love somebody, though. For sure. Alright, let's find out how this happened to Gemini. Spirit angels, can you help me? Spirit guides, can you help me find out how they're taking the Uh-oh. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I want honesty. Why do you insist on lying to me? Somebody's been lying to you, huh? All I want is honesty. Why do you keep lying to me? Oh, and a card turned over. Unplug, Gemini. Turn it all off. It turns them on. So those two cards were already turned over. Unplug. 
you turn it all off, it turns them on. And I just want honesty. Why do you insist on lying to me? I'm going to take them because they weren't there by accident. How did this happen? One of you was doing too many fucking chores and somebody got irritated. One of you was doing too much. That person better get laid now, Gemini. <laughs> and irritated, eat, cuddle, sleep, and repeat. So somebody was doing too much here, and the other person got irritated, or they got irritated because they were doing too much. What's being hidden? Or maybe you got irritated because they were doing too much. Love the one you're with and agree to fucking disagree. Love the one you're with. This includes you and agree to fucking disagree. That's that you see shit differently. That's life with another human. Good times. So you're loving the one you're with and you're having an argument with them. All right, what's being shown? We can't be all things. You're hot, smart, and you have a great ass and send a picture. <laughs> so you feel like you can't, you're not good enough. But you're hot, smart, and have a great ass and send a picture. All right, what's going to happen next? Oh, you did not break me. Came out of the wrong deck and go solo. So you're having a breakup with somebody and you're, um, you're going to be alone. That's why spirit's working in your love life. And somebody is like, you did not break me. I just want honesty and I'm unplugging. I'm disconnecting from this connection. And sit back and relax. Oral love is in your future with fucking say it. Resentment kills the magic. Okay, well, fucking say it then. <laughs> what would this person say to Gemini? I don't want to know. They would say, I don't want to know. Like, I'm over this so much that I don't even give a fuck. All right, what would Gemini say to them? I can't reach out. <clears throat> so, I think, oh, two cards just flew out. Let me see what they are. I find you so attractive, but I do love you. So for some reason, Jim and I can't reach out. And the other person is like, I don't even give a fuck. I think you've been blocked by somebody, Jim and I. That's what I think. I feel so drawn to you. What else would Jim and I say? I do love you. I do love you. What else would the person they're dealing with say? We don't share the same values. So somehow they feel like y'all are too different and they don't care. This person does not care, Gemini. And you're over here like, I love you so much and I can't reach out. You didn't see my tears. What else would this person who doesn't care say? I'm sorry you're dealing with somebody like this. I don't want to let you go and I don't know why this happened. So they would say they don't want to let you go. They don't want to know and you don't share the same values, but they don't want to let you go and they don't understand why this happened. I watch your, show, your social media also. All right, anything else you and I would say to them? You would say, I feel so drawn to you and I want you back. So you want this person back. They don't want to let you go, but they don't understand why this happened. Something has happened here that's really pissed somebody off, and I can't be with you. Yeah, they don't want to be with you anymore. Is what it looks like to me, Jim and I. Like, you really pissed in their cornflakes, baby. All right, let's see if we can find out a little bit more. How did this happen to Jim and I? Somebody lost. Somebody had a loss. Grief, sorrow, and pain. Clarify the loss they had. Somebody could have lost a child. Why is the loss card here? What got lost? What was the loss, Spirit? May we see, please, what the loss was? The loss was somebody beautiful that was hoping. And there was a lot of confusion. You lost somebody beautiful that was hoping that they could work this out with you, but there was too much confusion. Too much was unclear. What's being hidden? That divine masculine is solitary, lonesome, single, and withdrawn, pretending. What's being shown? An emotional whirlwind. And what's going to happen next, spirit? What's going to happen next? Somebody's clinging. Clinging to what? 
What are they clinging to, Spirit? Time. What do you mean they're clinging to time? The chase is here. They're clinging. They had to wait. And they had to chase. That's what's happening next. Clinging, time, and chase. Can you show me what's going on here, Spirit? Somebody's apprehensive, guarded, cautious, or afraid. What are they afraid of? Being established, having a family, security. Somebody is clinging to time and they're chasing, but they're apprehensive. What are they chasing for God's sake? They're chasing lust and they're conflicted about it. I think they had they had maybe sex with somebody else and they are conflicted about it. <clears throat> What's going to be the outcome, Spirit? Somebody's going to have a secret. Clarify the secret they're going to have. What secret does this person have? Some illusions with roaming wild and being trapped. So, secretly, their judgment is clouded. about roaming wild and feeling trapped. Because sometimes when we roam wild, we do get trapped, don't we? One day, someday, somehow, drifting. Clarify how they're trapped. You know, we feel like we just need to have some space, right? But really, in our deepest, darkest secrets, what your intuition is here. What do you mean, intuition? Somebody using their intuition and they're like, I'm better off. I'm better off. And it's this person right here. They're like, we don't have that much in common. You know, you don't treat me well. Um, you are sleeping with other people. You had me hoping. Now you have me confused. I'll just be by myself. Even though I want to have sex with you real, real bad, I'll just be by myself. Because I can do bad by myself, right, Collective? Right. <laughs> All right, Spirit, talk to us out of this day. How did this happen to Gemini? They reread all of your text messages over and over. You have them confused with somebody else, and I'm afraid to tell you how I really feel. What's being hidden besides how they really feel? What's being hidden? This divine masculine could smoke. I know your fine ass is not single. So, secretly, they think you have somebody else. All right, what's being shown? Why don't you ever respond to my text in a reasonable time? And what's going to happen next? So, if somebody doesn't respond to your text, you're going to tell me again why you're single. This person doesn't think you're single, and I love all of you. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. All right, Spirit, talk to me about why the moon is here for Gemini. Because of a knight of cups. A knight of cups. My, oh, children are falling all out of the deck without even having, oh, and a nightmare about children. Somebody wants to make a romantic gesture. Somebody's got romance on their brain. That's why the moon is here. Is they are feeling like they want to offer somebody love. Show me where this knight is moving with this love. May I see, please? There's going to be a message about it. And it's about a four of wands in reverse. Why is the four of wands in reverse? You're going to get an exciting message about a four of wands in reverse. Because of somebody being insecure, controlling, and holding on to having it all. Clarify having it all? This person has got to have it all. They want to have it all, and this person broke up with them, I think. Yeah, they were hiding their feelings, and they also had an obsession that looks like that they were hiding. Why is the hermit here? Because of the Knight of Wands. This is Sagittarius. Why is Sagittarius here with Virgo? Because of a celebration and being frozen. A celebration or a friendship. Somebody was real passionate about this, and... They got cold because there was too many people involved. They got cold and they were like, nope, can't have that secretly. They were so searching about this. Why are they frozen when it comes to the Three of Cups? Because of somebody walking away. 
they they want a party and they want to have the celebration, but they're having a hard time letting go. Clarify what they're letting go of. The truth. Clarify the truth. The breakthrough of clarity that's coming. There's a Queen of Pentacles, an Ace of Pentacles in reverse, healing in reverse. The Two of Wands upright, Forbidden upright, and the Eight of Pentacles. So this Queen of Pentacles was not given an offer, and they haven't healed from that yet. And they're trying to figure out what they want to do next, but they know that it's forbidden for this to work. It's forbidden for this to work. Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Why is it forbidden for this to work? Because of a date with an emperor healing from the King of Cups. Somebody had a date with an emperor and they're healing from the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here with healing? This is too many. Because this is who you broke up with. So you broke up with this King of Cups and you're healing from this date. Or you're healing from that and you're going to have a date with the Emperor. They were healing from this Cancer Pisces. This is a Cancer. You're healing from this Cancer. Why are we having a date with the Emperor then? Somebody's healing from a Cancer because it's a friend of yours that you have a lot of fantasy. Clarify the fantasy with this friend. You have a fantasy with a friend. Alright, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Their internal conflict. Wanting to go to the next stage. The Knight of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. Death. What's the T? The Ace of Cups in reverse. And the Page of Swords. So, somebody's internally conflicted about a friend of theirs that's a twin flame. And they're wanting to decide, what should I do? But they know they need to get back on their feet, get stable. There's going to be something that happens that's going to transform this. And somebody's spine. There's going to be an event, a faded event, that's going to change this situation. And it's going to bring this Knight of Cups. They're going to, they're going to offer, or not offer... There's T here, and this is what's going to move this forward. Let's find out what the T is. So, yeah, what's the T about the Ace of Cups? Why is it here? Because there's going to be an invitation, and somebody believes that this is destiny. Somebody believes that it's destiny to have an invitation. What's the truth, Spirit? There's a hidden agenda, and somebody's locked down. Closed down, locked down, closed off, unallowed. What's the hidden agenda, Spirit? Spirit says it's a mystery. <laughs> Spirit's not even saying what it is. Spirit's not going to tell us what it is. There's a hidden agenda when somebody was locked down and they have a mystery. Anything you will tell us here? The spring is here. What about the spring? Somebody was unapologetic and had unconditional, unwavering love. They were sorry, but not sorry because they had love. There's going to be a date. What's going to be the outcome of the date, Spirit? There's the twist of fate. Somebody's going to be dominant and manipulative. <laughs> Alright. They're going to be dominant and manipulative this summer. And what's going to happen next? They're going to be digmatized because of choices they have. Clarify the choices. They're going to be blocked, ghosted, and ignored. What else? There's a third party that's going to be a psycho this summer. <laughs> or a third party's going to make somebody psycho this summer. Oh, God. I'm, I, look, I'm with this person right here. I, would, I ain't got no part in this. And somebody can't travel for some reason or they're going to travel. Spirit said to go one more time. <clears throat> the answer's going to be no about travel. And then there's a pinky promise. Where is Gemini at in this journey, Spirit? Awakening to something that was received. What do you mean awakening to something they received? Clarify what you mean. Somebody has like a north face. It was in the winter and it caused them a lot of grief. Somebody's awakening to something they received in the winter that caused them a lot of grief. Where's their person? They have big dreams, they're admired, and they have self-worth. What's connecting the two? What's connecting Gemini with this person? 
inner child is here. Why is inner child here for connecting? Because somebody's ascending and they're going to have union. Uh-oh, card turned over. They learned their lessons. Be patient. Wow. Outcome, spirit. The shadow work, not talking to somebody, not listening, and recognizing. Recognizing what, spirit? That they had a third party. What are they going to do about this? This summer, they saw the signs that the answer was no, and they're going to communicate to you that they want to make an offer. Another card turned over. And they have regrets about something that ended. All right, spirit. Talk to me out of this deck for the sign of Gemini. What would you say out of here? Somebody's in denial. What are they in denial about? Awakening and put away the computer. All right. You're going to have time apart. What else? <laughs> what else, spirit? Why are we here today? Tell me why Gemini is here today. Because of balance and acceptance of a second chance. Clarify what you mean. Somebody's support. What do you mean support? That was true love. All right, what else? Somebody was being supportive and it was true love. And it was a friendship. <clears throat> Anything else chemistry on the bottom of the deck? Children are here. With an apology, different pages, and a decision. All right, outcome spirit for this friendship. There's a warning. What do you mean warning about playing hard? Somebody's longing. It's the twin flame. And it's protected. Alrighty then. Any more healing that Jim and I might need to do, Spirit? Rejection is here and discover your life purpose with procrastination and take off your mask. Angels, how are you helping Gemini besides love? You're going to bring harmony. Their thoughts are here and communication. It looks like somebody might have ghosted you or blocked you. You're going to have prayer, hope, divine plan, gratitude, and grace. All right, anything else, angels? You're going to have miracles. Wow, and creative power is turned over with power. Wisdom and a relationship on the bottom of the deck. All right, how are we working in the spiritual gifts? Meditation. All right, what else? You have your music. Gemini's music. Anything else, spirit? Somebody here plays guitar. There's going to be an epiphany. Clarify the epiphany, please, spirit. It has to do with being grounded and manifesting. Manifesting what, spirit? Communication, your family tree, your intuition, and Phoenix rising with time on the bottom of the deck. All right, Spirit, <laughs> I don't know what to say about this reading. What would you say out of the Oracle messages for the sign of Gemini, Spirit? Your psychic abilities are here, your confidence, and a divine feminine and fertility. There's going to be a transformation for the grieving that's going on. You're going to have trust. Finding willpower. For what, Spirit? Finding the willpower for forgiveness and compassion. Somebody's finding the willpower for forgiveness. All right, Spirit, what would you say to Gemini out of this deck right here? What soul action can Gemini take today to get them closer to their dreams? How can I deepen my trust right now? What do I resist feeling right now? And what else could this mean? What do I resist feeling right now? We have to feel it to heal it. In order to let go of pain, we first have to honor its existence. Emotions are like waves. Some are soft, some are fierce, some are layered, and some will sweep you off your feet. When we allow ourselves to feel it all, we can then release what no longer serves us. 
Today's soul action. Allow yourself to feel this wave. Let it move through you no matter how long it lasts. And then release it back into the ocean. Feel it, heal it, enjoy the sweet freedom within your soul. And how can you deepen your trust right now? Trust, surrender, let go of the wheel. You can trust. You can trust yourself. Trust fully in yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. Trust creates safety, and when we feel safe, we feel unstoppable. Today's soul action, let go and trust. Today, find your center in the chaos and be certain with yourself so you can deepen your trust in others. So you have trust issues. And what else could this mean? There are always multiple ways of looking at every situation. Our first reaction is usually rooted in our fears and limiting beliefs. Look at a situation today by stepping outside of the trigger and ask, what else could this mean? Today's soul action. Is there something your soul is calling you to learn in this moment or is there a pattern that's ready to be broken? Walk in the other person's shoes and see it from their perspective. If it doesn't involve someone else, ask yourself, how is life happening for me right now? All right, let's get you an inner goddess card. And of course, if you're a masculine and you just switch the pronouns, I mean, it is what it is. They were written for women. All right, spirit. Messages for Gemini, please. Whoa. I'm going to put it back. If it was meant to, it'll come back out. It was soul sisters. Messages for Gemini. Can I get good, strong answers, please? Daughter of the Sacred Heart and Tribe of the Kindred. I think we've had these for Scorpio, maybe? Daughter of the Sacred Heart, number eight. <clears throat> you are going to free yourself from a painful criticism or judgment held against you, perhaps by yourself, perhaps by another person or group of people. Human beings do not have the spiritual right to condemn each other or ourselves. Every human being is here to learn how to grow, and every human being will make mistakes along the way. You are realizing that you can claim responsibility for your actions and make amends where needed without ever deserving to be attacked or put down. You are realizing that you don't have to be perfect to be pure of heart and deserving of respect and kindness. This makes the Divine Mother very happy. And tribe of the kindred. Home is where the heart is. Give your heart permission to reveal to you the people, places, and activities that feel like home for you. You are in a phase of transition in your life, casting off all which is not true to your heart in favor of that which really feels like it belongs in your world. Sometimes the mind resists, thinking that if we let go of too much, we'll be left with nothing, and that it's better to hold on even if something isn't right. This prevents you from being able to find your way home. It's safe to trust your heart as it attracts into your world that which is truly meant for you. All right, who are you talking to? C-E-L-Y-N-O-D. L M H P S C D R T V T I D H G Q W T T V N M P A F F G N M V C C A E L M F T B T W S T One more time I'm hearing T N D B I X L J Trinket Spirit for Gemini. All right, Gemini, I have an infinity sign, dream, hope, trust, love, a music note, a cat, a flower, made with love inside of a heart, a Christmas tree, a family's love is forever, learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow, a peace sign, a fancy heart, a fancy ball, an eye for intuition, a compass, a crescent moon with a star, a piece of crystal, 
a butterfly, a butterfly, a family tree, a lotus flower, beautiful, and the leaf would fall. Trinkets from this ball. Live, laugh, and love. The love between a grandmother and granddaughter is forever. An Eiffel Tower, maybe you live in a tower. Another tower. An angel. Another fancy heart. Live your dream. Never, never give up. A ball, an infinity sign. A prick or a cactus. A horse, maybe you're from Kentucky. Or maybe you just like to ride horses. A fancy heart with a flower. A heart that says, I love my dog and has a doggy paw on the back. A cash sign. Harry Potter, nine and three quarters. An I Ching message. And my pirate, the cool eye spirit that wears the bandana, showed up for your reading tonight. Now let's see what the I Ching has to say for your told day. I Ching message for Gemini spirit. Somebody has beautiful green eyes. They're like a different kind of green. Remind me of my ex-husband's eyes. Opening. Openings bring people together and begin a lively creative process of sharing and exchange. It liberates human energies, motivates people to overcome hardship, and encourages perseverance. It means joyful and outgoing expression that opens up communication. How can you fully enjoy the moment? What are you bringing to expression? And what if you communicated and exchanged more freely? In 55 Abundance, a wealth of resources, but also a wealth of choices, tasks, and demands. This is a crucial moment where it all comes together. In a time of abundance, there is no place for sorrow or anxiety. It is not the time to hide yourself away. Decide what you will do and make the practical preparations to go forwards. What are you called to do and what decisions must you make, make now? And then, great taming. Taming means building up and controlling natural resources and nurturing their growth with an eye on what can be activated in the future. Steady persistence over time will yield good results. You can now move beyond mere survival. Nourish yourself on new experiences and allow your gifts to be of greater service. How can you make the most of your potential and how would it be to master this? All right, Jim and I, let me know if you enjoyed this by liking the video. Make sure you subscribe. Share the content. Let me know you shared. Give me your contact information, and your name will be put in a drawing for July 4th. I'm going to give away a free private reading. Be blessed, Jim and I. Bye-bye.